Big news. What's the big news? Tony Hawk is back. I heard. <laughs> news. He <music>. texted. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I didn't actually see that. So did, what, did Tony Hawk leak his own announcement? Is that what it was? What? No idea. Oh. Did, did somebody text him or did he text people? What I, I gathered forget. is there was a, a promotion thing before where you could like put your phone number in and occasionally receive texts from Tony Hawk directly. Oh, yes. That's, that's, a, that's an ongoing – yes, that's a service – that they a lot of celebrities will be like you can call me at this number or text me at this number and right. like try to front like it's their actual phone number but come on what? um really that's yeah. a thing that is oh, a thing yeah it's like in the back of like instruction manuals you call a 900 number to 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 get a special message from freddy krueger yeah. that's that. right lee trevino is here to tell you how to fight and golf uh <laughs> but only if you call his 900 line uh yeah so i okay so so th those messages must have gone out early or something so as a part of i guess as, as a part of uh jeff Keeley's uh summer jam uh slam slam summer slam jam um game fest uh this morning they went ahead and announced tony hawk's pro skater one and two uh finally what everyone has been that well, uh, yeah, kind of. Yeah. For as much as they've done that multiple times already over the years. Yeah, that's <laughs> the thing. Uh, yeah, so, uh, you know, obviously this stuff had been rumored for, a, you know, or, or leaked slash rumored for a good long time. You know, there were stories going around about like, oh, there are builds here, there are builds there, um, you know, in, in various forms uh, being being shown around Activision, that sort of stuff. So it's not a huge surprise that it's happening. Um, Interesting that Tony Hawk is doing business with, with Activision again. You know, the, the end of that relationship didn't seem um, amazing, but I guess like that would there, no one was out there bad mouthing anyone too publicly, um, other than to say that hey, that those last couple games that Robomoto developed, which was Tony Hawk's Pro Skater Five, mm -hmm. and the last time they tried to remake these games, which was Tony Hawk's Pro Skater HD, um, didn't go well. That was a right. disaster, right? HD wasn't it? Yeah, because like the gravity so, was all messed up, and like yeah, the the, the instant grind. Yes. Yeah, yeah. The the feel of the game was wrong. the The game was okay, except like the game was okay, except in the context of being a faithful remake of that thing. On its own, you're like, mm, you know, this is still playable. I can still do it, mm -hmm. but they didn't. They didn't get the feel right. And did it have and all the so, music? Yeah, yes. they're making a big point of this one having all the music. Well, I don't know if it had all the music. All the music? I can't say, but or it, but it had a, music, it had a but... bunch of it, and uh, and now it's no longer on sale. You can, you know, I, I assume as the license is expired, whether sure. it was the Tony Tony's license, um, Tony Hawk's Pro license, or Tony Hawk's Pro soundtrack, some of those rights must have changed or or Tony something. Hawk's but Pro rights registration. Yeah, and so for this one, yeah, they do have a a slate in the um in the trailer saying like and, and like the first band on the list is power man 5000 which i'm just like fucking what are you doing <laughs> it should be uh, goldfinger it, it should knows. be gold it should be goldfinger and and it, i i would love to that'd be like uh i know a lot of people went and tried to do all their like different tony hawk like retrospectives and documentaries and all this other stuff but the thing i want to know because i don't feel like it was this way i want to know at what point in history did superman become the <laughs> <laughs> go to like Tony Hawk song. Like when you're talking about Tony Hawk, when you're talking about that sort of stuff, like, like that Superman became the thing. Cause it's an iconic song from that game, but yeah. while they were still making those games, no one was still like, Oh, Superman needs to be, you know, it was, it was just at some point that happened and it just became the de facto song to talk about when you're mentioning the classic soundtracks. I think a big part of that is that it's independently not a successful song, right? Like a lot of the songs that people really like from the Tony Hawk soundtracks are also songs that people will just like listen to because they're from bands they like, but you like know, Power Man 5,000, right? Yeah. Like Power Man. 5, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I didn't, you might be onto something there, but at the same time, I feel like Goldfinger it's, was certainly around. And maybe that's just hey, their cover of Ninety Nine Red Balloons is oh, pretty yeah. good. Tremendous. They, they have one. Oh man. Oh yeah. Yeah. No, it's, uh, it's yeah. It's good. Uh, and Goldfinger is just a, a a good band. That's Superman's not even my go to. Anyway, all right. Uh, it's never at karaoke. Uh, I've gone. I've gone to a lot of karaoke places in the East Bay, and literally not a single one has ever had Superman. My Goldfinger. And what about there? There's ska. Do they have ska representation? 
Some, yeah. Usually, like, a fair amount of no doubt, at least. No, ska. God damn it. <laughs> Not whatever no doubt. But even, like, it. Mighty Mighty Boss tones I'll have. Yeah. No, I said Because so. I've seen it. Because I've sung it several <laughs> times. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm going over the press release right now to see what they say, if, there, if there's anything else in here about soundtrack stuff. But it doesn't look like... Uh, it doesn't look like there is anything in here. So we just have that trailer stuff to go off of, which there, yeah, there was an artist list in there and then an, and more. Um, and sure. Um, yeah, it's, it's, um, it's weird considering that. And I guess like it, it's reflective of like how I think about time, but I go like, man, they just remade these, but that was 2012. Oh Jesus. Really? When Tony Hawk HD came out. So I, thought, I could have sworn that was 2015 for some reason. Those were 360 games. That was a 360 Jeez. games. You know, it was a uh, it was a while ago. Yeah. And uh they sold DLC for that uh that added the revert and some Tony Hawk 3 some Tony Hawk 3 levels after the oh, fact. They literally man. called it the revert pack. <laughs> it's fucking crazy, That's right? It's up. fucking crazy. Um and then that same studio got to go on and make the last the last new Tony Hawk game. Uh, and that didn't go well either. But like to be honest, so and, and that's the thing that's striking about this announcement and and actually the tone of the trailer that they put out and some of the information in it is the thing when when they announced Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 5, it came from a division of Activision. Like the the PR end of it was being handled by a division of Activision that traditionally dealt with their budget games. It was like it, oh, it felt like it was like a separate. You could tell right out of the gate that this was something that they barely cared about, uh, and and sure enough, you know, it, it was. And and so Tony Hawk Five, like out of the gate, you were just like, well, I hope this is great, but boy, they sure there are zero signs out of Activision that that this is going to be anything other than a disaster. And then it came out, and it was like somehow even worse than. Uh, than it it seemed like it would be. Tony Hawk Five is just an unmitigated piece of shit, man. Um, so in you know, it, it, contrasting to that, uh, this is being developed by Vicarious Visions. Mm. This is a studio that has actual history with the franchise. Sure, uh, it's it's a, it's also the studio that has been doing a lot of activision's remakes lately like the spyro and crash stuff is a lot of that's coming out of the vicarious we're really good yeah and those are like very well regarded and also like more importantly like made a decent amount of money for activision so uh so this seems like it's more in line with like that kind of more recent push at activision to remake some of their uh kind of classic ps1 era games and and remaster them and, and get them out there uh again and uh I think that's pretty cool. Um, Vicarious, like, honestly, like, I still have, like, a positive feeling about Vicarious Visions, specifically because of what they did with Tony Hawk on the GBA. Cool. Like, yeah. that, was, that was them that did that stuff. And then they went on, like, they helped out with, like, the PC version of Destiny and 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 a lot of other stuff over the years, you know. Uh, but, but, like, I still have, like, a warm feeling about Vicarious in my heart because of specifically Tony Hawk on the GBA and how that was, like, a killer fucking port of that game. Nice. Yeah. That's um, encouraging. Yeah. And, and and so even though that was a long time ago and who knows how many of those people are even still there, I don't know. It doesn't maybe it doesn't matter. But you know, but also I think more importantly, they've done a lot of the recent kind of remake work with with the Crash Bandicoot stuff and 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 some of that other stuff. So like they've done good remake work. They have an attention to detail. Uh and and I I feel good about that. Uh the other thing in this is so so yeah, it's uh it's Tony Hawk's pro skater one and two the right. and is spelled out when they write it in text it's not just the plus hmm. um and uh so i think the other thing i was i was wondering coming out of the the trailer and some of that stuff which maybe it's in the trailer if you're if i was watching a little more closely um so it'll have the moves of later tony hawk games okay so sketching uh, wall planting uh it will have uh yeah it will so yes it'll have wall plant here i'm, I'm trying to find the exact um the exact text here um but it will have reverts which didn't come in until three uh and so yeah uh revert lip tricks wall plants uh online multiplayer create a park create a skater uh they're saying create a park is a robust editor enabling new ways of customization share parks online which you know share tony park. on five had that um <clears throat> so i don't know um 
but you you know you, they, you could do a cool online park creator sharing thing that would be awesome um, uh, did they mention anything about getting off the board at all are they carrying any of the thug stuff over oh God, none of that no. uh d- it, it, it does not say anything about that and i and i bet you won't be able to that, sure. my, my guess is that you will not do that stuff um but who knows uh all right here's a question all right who from modern pop culture are you dropping in there as guest characters captain Ryan know- from call of duty <laughs> <laughs> you got you, captain price from call of duty oh imagine how gl- he's the one with the mustache right yeah yeah imagine how glorious that mustache would look flowing in yeah. the wind on a like, skateboard yeah exactly That'd be you already rocks a oh, bucket hat. Baby really Yoda, well. somebody said in chat that would be fucking that would be great. <laughs> He's in his well, little crib it's flipping around. Uh, Ronald in the chat says put Bam Margera modern in the game. <laughs> oh, like, yeah, okay. Throw him a bone. He needs it. He needs it. Yeah. Um will Spider Man be exclusive to the PlayStation version of the game? Right. <laughs> Right? I mean, this one was announced. Who's the Xbox exclusive? John Halo. I mean, Blinks. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Voodoo Vince. (laughs) These are all great ideas. Yes. So it it did have um, uh, Xbox branding on the trailer. So for it is coming to PlayStation and the Epic Game Store, not Battle.net. So Activision still, which, you know, that does not that's not that shocking i don't know it feels like the the non blizzard games on battlenet are are usually pretty limited to well actually i guess it's just two call of duty games now it's not even destiny anymore cuz that's gone um yeah but uh but yeah and it lets them do a deal with epic which i'm sure gets them a little bit of extra money coming in you seems know like activision needs it lay up for game pass too it seems like a perfect game pass game that would be cool yeah i bet it won't be really <laughs> I bet Activ- I, not at least not uh, not at, at launch because uh, I'm sure I'm, Activision yeah, is sure. like no let's get paid. Yeah. yeah. Uh, speaking of getting paid, <clears throat> uh, this will get this is getting a physical release. Uh, oh, wow. And you out uh, September, yeah, so, right? Yeah, September fourth. Yeah. Are they sure? And, right. <laughs> yeah, it's this has been in the works long enough that I bet they can hit that date. Uh, so yeah, um, I feel like Last of Us was too was also in the works for a while. Well, yeah, they, that's a much, there are a lot, probably a lot more moving parts on that sure. thing. Than there are sure. uh, a remake of Tony Hawk one and two, to be honest, uh, 40 bucks and then a digital deluxe version. That'll be 50 bucks. And then if you want a collector's edition, so they're doing a, a $100 version of this game that will come uh, with a skateboard. Oh, wait, a hundred bucks. Oh. Limited run birdhouse deck is what it says here. That's huge skate decks. Like. Yeah, yeah, those are expensive. It seems like it would be a really shitty skateboard for a hundred dollars plus fifty of that is for, is the game. Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Well, I'm completely blinking out. This is a full priced video game. Forty dollars. Well, Forty. Okay. It's a two thirds priced video game. I was I was expecting like fifteen dollars. I don't know. I'm I guess I'm tripping. Well, this thing is like that Tony Hawk HD thing was probably closer to that range uh, when it came out, uh, but also it was not good. So <laughs> you know. If they're going to charge that kind of price for it, if they're going to go to the lengths to do some kind of collector's edition for it and all of this other stuff, then uh, I'd say I already feel better about it than any of the the HD stuff ended up turning out. So, sure. so yeah, despite being burned by this exact pitch last time around, like they are... They are clearly more invested in it this time around than they were then. Like at that point in time, they were not good at, you know, kind of leveraging their past and, you know, the the strong sales, I'm sure, of of Crash and some of that other stuff has probably given them a lot more runway to go like, oh, well, if we actually do good remakes, it turns out people give a shit uh, instead of just like farting them out. Um and the trailer looks good. I think the the just the visual, like the the visual quality of the models and stuff like that, like it looks pretty nice. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Like, like we'll you see. They're gonna mess with the story at all. I think the yeah. remake and not a remaster. Yeah, it's gonna be a, a whole. Th- that by the end of it, they're gonna be like, oh, by the way, the Chad other Muska Tony Hawk. Yeah, yeah. Muska beats. Uh, he turns up his boombox and opens a fucking time portal and and all this other shit. So there's ghosts um, hovering around the secret tapes. Make sure you don't get it too soon. Yeah. 
Uh, and I wonder where this goes, if this goes anywhere after this, if like, what's the appetite? And I'm sure like the sales of this probably determine that, but like, what's the appetite for like, Hey, what if we, you know, w whether it's like more class classic stuff for this or, or whether they go and actually make a new Tony Hawk game, which would be potentially cool. I don't know. In yeah. a world where people are hungry for Skate 4 and EA is clearly, um, you know, seems pretty uninterested in in pursuing that, at least in a, in a timely fashion. Um, They're making that mobile skate, maybe. Maybe, yeah, maybe. <laughs> and who knows? Like, yeah, all that could be total bullshit, too. You know, it's hard to... It's hard to say. Uh, We're talking about it. And obviously, uh, I... I you know, Go ahead. Sorry. No, yeah, I was gonna say EA. EA seems like this type of company that kind of can turn on a dime on some of that stuff when it comes to no, we're not gonna do it. Oh God, like some number across some metric, and now we're putting a team on it, but it's not even a full team. You know, we're gonna. Yeah. Anyway, uh, go ahead. Uh, we were talking about it before the bombcast started, but I'm surprised it's not coming out to Switch. Yeah. Um, and then I am now suddenly thinking again about a whole new era of very poor Nintendo Tony Hawk ports. I'm all here for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I you know, I don't know. I, I think they the, the trailer at least makes the levels and models look uh, pretty pretty good, pretty modern. So I, I don't They should just release a uh remaster of the GBA versions for Switch. I would love that. That would yeah. be another good way to do it. I, I think I think with it being vicarious doing the work, I would love to see them do like, hey, by the way, we also put an isometric camera in this so you can kind of play these games like they were the GBA ports. I think that would be rad. Somebody um, in chat said that apparently a, a grip of X, uh, har uh, not harmonics, uh, Neversoft people Neversoft. are at Vicarious. Oh, right that makes now. sense. I mean, you awesome. know, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that, that's the weird history of all those studios and, and just like, you know, back when Activision was spread out and, and kind of making more games uh than they are now uh left a lot of people i'm sure i'm sure moving around from from place to place so that's yeah that's cool i i would yeah i, I would love to see this lead to a new tony hawk game i think in a world where you've got something like thug pro out there just kind of quietly being this really cool um kind of fan mod that brings together all of these tony hawk levels and all this other classic stuff i think that there's there's room for something like that out there uh, and so I wonder, like, you know, so you, you have your Tony Hawk one plus two, do they eventually get to a point where, cause they've already got all the tricks in it. Do they get to a point where they're like, here's the plus three DLC and here's the plus four DLC. I think to, to get to thug, to get to the, the, the changes they made in thug, that's probably a different game. Yeah. But I wonder if, if, if they, you could see them doing, or do they do a three plus four as a separate game? Like or something like that. Like, I, I think feel if like you're going to add those likely. later moves, like like you were talking about earlier, how they're adding the moves from three and four, and that's a perfect like gateway of just like, well, we got the moves in here. We don't have to do that extra work. Let's roll in these level yeah. levels from three and four. Yeah, and that's probably the you know even four. I don't know that I would. I don't think I care about four. Like I, I, I went back and four. tried. You know, I was like tried to play four. Um. You know, we were getting ready to play some four. Uh, I don't think I like four very much. <laughs> yeah. Anymore. It was, it I mean, was fine after time. three. Like three is just so good. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. Three was, was the peak for that style. And Thug and Thug 2, I think, are, are really good games too. But four seemed like a, hey, you you really nailed all this stuff in three. Hence the spine transfers that they added in four are not enough to really That's right. That's set it apart. Yeah, and I think the level design in four was not as tight. They were because they were they were trying to make bigger levels, um, but not as big as they got to in Thug. So, like Thug, kind of even. It's it's a weird it's a weird in between game between three and and Thug that they you know they they didn't really nail it there. I think, but but at the time it was fine. Um, it's just kind of in retrospect, you're like, man, the game before this and after this are like significantly better. Um. Anyway, yeah, that got announced this morning. That's uh, that's pretty cool. Um, 